hi and welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to use the tm 1637 four digit seven segment display with the stm32 microcontroller my name is ali and you are watching cghq to get started with the code open up stm32 cube ide and click on create a new stm32 project then go to board selector and type in the part number of your microcontroller click on next and then for project name you can just say segment display and then we're going to save it in the default location the seven segment module comes with four pins ground pin the vcc pin the clock pin and the data pin so for the data pin and the clock pin we need to initialize two pins in our microcontroller's gpio output pins so the pins that we're going to use for this video are pc0 and pc1 so just click on pc0 initialize it as gpio output and pc1 initializes this gpio output as well go to clock configuration and set the clock speed of your microcontroller to 40 megahertz i will explain why later in the video for now you can just set it to 40 megahertz then hold on control and click on s generate the code and go to the new perspective before we can start coding we need to input the library of this uh, seven segment display module that we are using so just go to this link over here i will put the link in the description below and then click on this one that says tm1637.c click on download raw file go to the header file as well click on download file when the two files have been downloaded copy them go back to your ide and then here on the left hand side where it says core expand the folder go into src and then paste those two files we just downloaded here double click on the c file that we just downloaded and then here on the include statement we need to change this to match the microcontroller that we have my microcontroller is an f4 series so i'm going to remove this and type f4 then copy this second include statement go back to your main file and then here where it says user code begin include paste it to output the numbers that we want on the display go back to the website copy this first line of code go back to your ide go back to the main c file and then scroll down here where it says user code begin to paste that line of code this is the function that is going to initialize our seven segment display module and then you can copy these two lines of code as well and then in the main while loop paste them here so what's happening here is that this first function is the one that we use to set the brightness of our seven segment display module so you can just set it to a value of eight which which is the maximum value when we come to this second function that says display decimal there are two arguments the first argument is the number that we actually want to display onto our seven segment display and this second argument uh, corresponds to the column that is separating the two digits on the left from the two digits on the right so if you set it to zero that divider is going to switch off and if you set it to one the divider is going to turn on we can get creative with how we want to display our numbers so we can just create a for loop and say for int i i less than 1024 this can be any number that you want you can display any number that you want on your display and then we say i plus plus and then we're going to take this function and put it inside of our for loop and then we're going to replace this with our variable i and then before we can exit the for loop we're going to create a delay by saying hal underscore delay and then we can just create a 250 millisecond delay then we're going to click on the hammer to build our project to see if there are no errors and then after it says building with zero errors and zero warnings go ahead and connect your microcontroller to your laptop or computer and then click on this green button that says run to upload the code to the microcontroller then click on ok when the code has been successfully uploaded to our microcontroller we can see that our seven segment display is now counting from 0 to 1023 according to the for loop that we just created if you found the video helpful or if you have any feedback please let me know in the comment section below and also if you like to learn more about stm32 microcontrollers there's a stm32 beginners guide tutorial series that i've uploaded on my channel the link is also in the description below please like share subscribe and follow for more tech and electronics content